Savage, savage. We finna rule this planet, planet. We ain't gonna keep our laws, no. And we keep an name with Glennis, Glennis. Y'all walk around with Santa, Santa. Ready for the war, we standing, standing. We hit the street, they panic, panic. Strip coming out, they vanish, vanish. You will never ever say to me, black or Hispanic, cause my nationality is It's people on this earth, me, no direct no enemies to the no most high God of all, Christ, his son, the black Messiah, and the children of Israel. The Bible deals with it, and that's what we're trying to bring out to you. And guess what else the Bible does? The Bible brings solutions to the issues and the problems that are plaguing our community. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. I want to show you something about that holy people. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Now, know ye not. Read it from the top. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So, Nisha and Shay, the Lord just said y'all are chosen people, right? Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So, don't you know that y'all are the temple of God? Because God chosen y'all. You can put that down. God has chosen y'all. Y'all right. are the the, 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 the y'all body belongs to the Lord. Right. Y'all temple belongs to the Lord. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Spirit of God dwelleth in you because God gave y'all his law, statutes, and commandments. Yes, he didn't right. give them to anybody else. He gave them to the people on this side. Right. The people that went through slavery, that's who God gave his laws to. Right. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So, need uh, Shay, what happened if you put uh, diesel in that cobalt? Diesel, what happened? You said in the mic. My car gonna mess up. Your car gonna mess up. So, what happens if you put something in your body that God said don't go in your body? It's what? It's messing up. I don't it, see it now, but it's That's correct. Your body is being affected. Our people say, oh, we ain't never killed nobody. But yes, we kill people. We make people hallucinate and drive off the damn road and, 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 and run into a pole. Break their neck. It kill your brain cells. It make you sterile. You can't have kids. Why you think our, a lot of our brothers, they have issues and our sisters have issues. They, they putting all these drugs in their body. That's, that's designed to keep us as a people from populating. From reproducing. Y'all understand that? So guess what? They put marijuana in your community. They put crack cocaine in your communities. They put all kind of opioids in your community. But guess what? The Lord said we are holy people. We don't supposed to uh we don't supposed to partake in that stuff. That's right. We're supposed to be separate from that. But a lot of times, a lot of times we feel like, oh, we're gonna be looked at as crazy for being the cool or not being the cool kid. Right. Give me first Peter 4 and 4. We think that it's a, we think is that, that, you remember peer pressure in school? They taught us peer pressure, right? We think it's wrong to say no to drugs. Y'all understand that? We think it's wrong, like Venus Williams, the sister's a 40 year old virgin. Our people jumped down her throat for being a virgin. God said, hey, don't have sex until you get married. That's the right thing to do. So if we God's chosen people, guess what we got to do? Carry ourselves like that. We can't worry about what the other people are going to say. Y'all understand that? Read. First Peter chapter 4, verse 4. Uh -huh. Wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot. So guess what? It's, they going to think it's strange of y'all not to, well, put, to, to put the weed down and stop smoking the weed. They going to think it's strange for you to come out of the pants and put on a dress. My sister here, uh, Nisha, right? They gonna think it's strange for you to dye your hair back black and stop wearing the uh, uh, oppressor's hair in your head. Right. You understand that? You are uh, you are a, a, a daughter of the Most High God. Right. If the Most High God look like this, guess what you should look like?
I got a better question. If the people that brought you over here in slavery, they look like the, the same. No, the people that brought did this to us, they look like this, right? And the man that's going to deliver us look like this. That's right. Who shall we be following? Our oppressor or our deliverer? Bring it out. Our deliverer. Our deliverer said, guess what? This happened to you for smoking weed. That's right. This happened to you for uh, disobeying your parents. Right. This happened to you for celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, That's right. Valentine's Day. This happened. This happened to you for dyeing your hair. Listen, you, you looking at me like, oh, is that in the Bible? Let's see. And best believe, sisters, this is our love. Because we love y'all, so we're going to tell y'all. Any questions? Christ is a white man. Christ, hey, Christ is a white man? You, you believe Christ is a white man? Hey, what proof do you have that Christ is a white man? You don't, right? All right, then. Read. This is uh, Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. Nisha, what color is your hair? Blind and black? What else, what's what's the what's the uh, what's another word for blind? It's 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 yellow. Yellow, right? Read that again. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow yellow or blonde, read. Then hair, uh -huh. then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It says then the priest should pronounce them unclean. You understand that, Nisha? It says our people are unclean that have yellow hair. So that's what we're telling you. God had, he had woolly hair like my sister here, right? You understand? That's what your hair should look like. Give me that wisdom of Solomon 5. Because guess what? You look like the author of beauty, sis. You look just like Christ. You look just like Christ. So, sisters, how y'all doing? Right now, we're going over the importance of embracing your true beauty. God said that y'all are God's chosen people. So, we must love ourselves because Christ gave us everything we have. He gave us our beautiful woolly hair. He gave us our black skin. You understand that? He gave us that. So guess what? We must love that thing, right? I asked the sisters a question. My sister Shay and Nisha. I, listen, I don't hate y'all. Y'all might hate me for telling y'all the truth, but I still, I still love y'all, all right? It's going to be all right. We're going to get through this together, right? Read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 3. It says Wisdom of Solomon. This is our, our forefather, King Solomon, right? Read. With whose beauty, if they be delighted, took them to be God. So the nations, with our beauty that the Lord gave us, the other nations, they took us to be gods. It was like, wow, these are gods. If you ever notice how in America today, the black woman wants to look like the white woman. But guess what? God gave you beauty, right? So if God gave you your beauty, you should want to look like yourself. The white woman now, they used to call us back in the day. Oh, they used to say, y'all got some big lips. Y'all right. got big lips. 
uh, uh, or your behind too big. What are they doing today? They going to get lip injections, butt implants. God gave us that naturally. So we must love that thing. You understand that? Read. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. So guess what? The Lord of, uh, the, the Lord of us, the children of Israel, is better than any other God out there because no other God exists. Good. It's only one true God. Bible because they don't think that black history is in the Bible. Let me show you something. It's good. Also. Look at this. I want y'all to come up here and get a good look at this. And get me Deuteronomy chapter 28. You said some parts? Well, I'm going to tell you this. The whole Bible is black history. I'm going to show you. But it, that's why it's important. For our people to come. And when they see the when y'all see the prophets up here, come and learn. Because the Christian church has been lying to us. Why? Because they work for this guy. I'm telling you, this is Pope Alexander VI of Rome's son. The one that if that set up every church in America, every church worldwide, the, the Catholics, every church follow up under the banner of the Catholics. So guess what? They're gonna teach you white Jesus, which is not in the Bible. You understand that? That's why people don't believe in the Bible. But today, y'all are up here, and y'all going to see that black history is in the Bible. Watch. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it says, if we did not hearken to the voice of the Lord our God. Hearken means to listen. If we did not listen, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So the Lord said we must listen and do. That's right. Listen and do all his commandments. Not just some of them. Not the ones that we don't want to keep. We, The Lord said we must do all his commandments, right? Y'all with me? Y'all everybody following along, right? Yeah. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. Wait a minute. So the Lord said, if we did not keep his commandments, we did not do his commandments, all these curses was going to come upon us as a nation of people. What's a curse? My sister here. That's what now? Let's put on some wine. What you think? What's a curse? You're right. These curses do follow you. And that's in the, that's in the Bible. What you say, mama? What is a curse? Nothing to go right for you? Okay, what about you? It's a spell put upon you? I like all of y'all answers. But let's get the Bible and see what what is a curse. Uh, Yes, give me that. Daniel chapter 9 verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed, transgressed. That law. So the children of Israel are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Everybody that follow up under these curses in this Bible, they are the children of Israel. Right. And we're going to prove that. Because a lot of people say, ah, oh, no, it's not. We're going to see if we are the people of the book today. We're going to put all the Christian lives to rest today. Watch this. Read. Even by the parting that they might not obey thy voice. So... Tell me something. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, do we obey God? We don't. We think we do, but we do everything contrary to God. I'm going to give you some examples. Christmas, that's not in the Bible. Thanksgiving, that's the slaughter of our brothers and sisters. Valentine's Day, that's the day, that's the celebration of orgies and fornication. Yes, 
It has nothing to do with God. Yes. Yes, it's actually a, a pagan homosexual holiday. Read. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. So the Lord said, because we didn't listen to him, therefore, the curse is poured upon us. All of us. All of us. Not just the blacks here in America, but our Puerto Ricans in Puerto Rico. That's right. Our Haitian brothers in Haiti. That's right. The, our Ephraimite brothers, our northern, all our northern kingdom brothers, right. the, 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 the uh, Issachar, right. the Mexicans today, they going through hell That's right. in Mexico. They've been trying to get over the, over the border. They think the grass is green over here, but it's, it's just as bad. That's right. Our brothers from Haiti, they've been, try, they've been trying to come over here, but guess what? It's just as bad. It's just that America is so good with their propaganda and hiding stuff from us in the media. That's right. You understand? Or diverting our attention somewhere else. Like the, the, the war with Ukraine and Russia. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Yeah. What about this COVID they've been killing our people with? Okay. What about that? What about here in America, if you don't take the shot, they can, they can take your funds. They, they can take your money. Right. Your job. They can take your kids from you. Throw you in jail. But the grass is greener here in America? No. We're going through the same atrocities our brothers in the other places are. It might be a little better here. It might be a little better here. But guess what? All of it is the same. That's right. You understand? Read. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, uh -huh. the servant of God. So we disobey the laws that the Most High God gave to Moses, right? Read. Because we have sinned. Because we what? We have sinned. We have sinned. So what is sin? We hear that in the Christian church every day. Bring it out. What is sin? I'm going to start with here. What is sin? Okay. Sin is doing what you're not supposed to be doing according to what? According to God. Everybody agree? That's sin, right? Read. Let's get a biblical definition. This is 1 John 3 and 4. Because the thing is, we've been sinning our whole lives and the pastor never told us what sin was. Read. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the breaking of God's laws. Hey, Transgress hey. Transgression means to break. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>